Where do you keep the four by fours? Oh, hi, you're here. Hi. What's wrong? <laughs> it was a shopping mall. Didn't you hear? It wasn't terrorists. But that's what we was... thought. We live in a world where that is the first thought that crosses our minds. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can raise a child in a world where they could die going to buy new shoes. I remember when I was 10 years old, sitting in a restaurant with my father, getting waffles. I love waffles. I didn't like eggs, still don't. This was 1960 in Texas in a town so small, they probably has forgotten his own name by now. And I remember some ignorant young men telling us to leave, dumping my father's food in his lap, throwing hot coffee on him. Was I scared? Yes. I begged him to take me out of there. Do you know what he said to me? What? Not until after you finish your eggs, young lady. What did, what did they do? What happened? <laughs> Nothing. They went on to bother somebody else. He wasn't afraid. So they didn't have any power. April, there's always going to be stupid people. There's always going to be accidents. But that's not what defeats you. It's the fear. Now, if you told me on that day in 1960 that I would have the job that I have today, the child that I have, I would have laughed till I cried. It seemed beyond impossible. But this is the way the world changes, sweetheart. Good people raising their babies right. Come on. We're the four by fours. We got things to do. We got work to do.